What is going on, guys? Opulent Vision, Road to Sub 20, Episode 11. Let's get into it. Um, this episode is going to be a little bit different. I have a couple questions from you guys I'm still kind of waiting to answer, um, but I'm slowly running out of Q&A questions. So again, if you have any, leave as many as you want in the comments and I will be answering them again in the next episode. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about cubing, um, kind of what's going on with my su- road to sub 20, um, cubing goals, things I'm working on uh, YouTube wise and kind of cubing wise. So let's go ahead and jump into it by talking about road to sub 20. Now, if you guys have been, I guess, longtime viewers of the series, you'll see that it's very, very slow improvement on my end. And You know, that's pretty difficult. I'm trying to balance a whole life outside of YouTube. I just do this merely for fun and to raise money for charities. Um, And I guess to give cubes away to you guys with spare money within that. So I don't have much time to practice cubing beyond what you see me do in this series. Luckily this week, I've been so blessed to be able to learn, um, I think it was like three PLL cases, which leaves me with four left to learn until I know full PLL. And then I'll start slowly chipping away at OLL, um, which I guess if you guys don't know, I've said it in a couple episodes, but I'm partially colorblind. Um, so OLL has always been a little bit difficult for me, um, but I'm trying so hard to get off of the um, two look. And I think that maybe within the next year, we will fully learn OLL, which will dramatically improve my solves. Um, But again, four PLLs left and then maybe like 30 cases of OLL that I don't know. So going along with that, um, we are getting close to sub 20. I think I'm going to go ahead and man, I think I'm going to do a road to sub 15 series um, once I'm like fully, fully sub 20, um, which means passing the average of 100 challenge. Um, which again is going to be really, really difficult because I'm right on the brink there. I think I averaged like 21.2 seconds um, for the average of 12 this week. So again, pretty phenomenal, um, but chugging away with that. In my spare time, I've actually been working a little bit with 4x4 and 5x5, hoping that translates to 6x6 and 7x7 solves. Um, I'm getting ready to go to another cubing competition. I'm, I don't have any on the schedule yet, so don't get me wrong. Um, but the second I do decide that, well, the second I find one in my area and then do decide that that's what I want to do, I want to be prepared on all cubes. Um, and that includes pyraminx, two by two, um, mega minx and square one. Uh, I have still have not learned square one yet, but I really want to learn again. Um, that's one of the coolest looking and turning cubes in my opinion. So I think it'd be sweet to, uh, learn it, but I guess a lot of you guys know square one is not a very easy endeavor at all. So, um, again, I've got some pretty lofty goals, but you know, we've got plenty of time to work towards it and I'll continue documenting all this progress through my YouTube Um, So I guess you guys want to stick along in the series. Um, Definitely happy to have you guys around. But I'm kind of at that brink where, you know, I need a little bit of a break from three by three. I'll continue posting these videos, but I'm in between working on four by four full time and five by five. Or I mean, because those go hand in hand. Or I was almost like, maybe I'll take a little step out of my comfort zone and start working on Mega Minx. Um, so again, if you guys know any like good tutorials on any of those, I mean, I know how to solve them all, but I'm not using the fastest method. So if you guys know, I guess any leads that could help me improve on that stuff, I'd be more than happy to hear about it. Um, and again, I've got a discord. It's usually in the link of my videos, or you can go back on my community tab. If you want to join it, we can talk about these puzzles, these different events. Um, I'm on discord typically every day or so. So I'm pretty good at responding to you guys if you guys do reach out over that. But again, I'd love to hear it. I'm all here to get better. Um, I love cubing. I love documenting this stuff. And I love posting videos for you guys. So more than happy, more than open to criticism on all this. Kind of looking at the future of my videos, um, there's going to be a moment around June where I'm going to be moving um, cities for a job. And I'm going to be going on a little bit of a vacation with my family. So I think mid-June, there's going to be a little bit of a lull in my videos where I'm not posting. Um, I mean, I'll have shorts scheduled to go up, but I won't be posting any long form videos for a week or two. Um, So that's just kind of coming up on my channel. 
And I guess next thing, um, kind of recording my channel and giveaways and stuff. As you guys know, my 12 by 12 giveaway where we gave away three 12 by 12s finally came to an end after two long months. And I appreciate everyone who wanted to participate in that, especially the ones who went for the, I guess, YouTube kind of marks you with like a top channel member, which I'm able to see on my end. I appreciate you guys who all went for that. Unfortunately, I don't have enough cubes to give to everyone, but I really want to do another giveaway either this month or for the next two months. So if you guys have any cubes you want to see given away or cubes you want to have like the chance to participate in and potentially getting... I mean, I won't be able to give away a 21 by 21 just because those are so expensive. But if you guys have anything, um, you know, pretty reasonably priced, I mean, I can give away multiple three by threes or maybe like a 12 by 12 again. I think I've done like, I think seven or eight giveaways on this channel. So a couple thousand dollars worth of cubes um, already, but I'm happy to give away more cubes to give like some of you younger cubers kind of a chance to... Um, use some of the nicer cubes if you do win the giveaway. So again, if you guys have any ideas of what we can be giving away, I'm more than happy um, to listen to them and we'll talk about them. We'll vote on them on the community tab. But yeah, one other thing um, regarding YouTube is I'm thinking about kind of, you know, re-optimizing my channel and daily shorts is something that kind of came to mind. I work pretty hard to get out daily shorts, um, and it's pretty tough, and I'm more than happy to continue doing that. However, the opposing hand, what I could do is maybe do a short every other day or maybe three or four times a week that, you know, they're kind of less comedy shorts and more kind of focused on cubing or news um, and kind of see how that goes. So if you guys want that as opposed to like comedy, one short a day, let me know, but again, I'm more than happy to continue doing one short a day for you guys. Also, last thing about YouTube, our uh, series here about like 50 things cubers blank or top 30 things about cubers or whatever it is, that series is kind of, man, I'm running low on ideas for that. So if you guys have any other video ideas or you want another series to kind of return, I know a couple of you have expressed interest in the Will It Lube series coming back. Again, more than happy to, you know, continue filming that series or if you guys had any other ideas for like the top 50 or any other kind of like comedy type videos, again, let me know. I'm more than happy to ideas. Um, also, my Discord, we have like a kind of video idea thing. But I guess that's all the, like the little updates I had for you guys. Next week, we'll return to the Q&A. So again, leave your questions um, and comment Dolphin if you made it towards the end of the video. See you guys.